How's it going guys? So in this short clip, I'm going to talk about how to prepare for USMLE step one, late summer slash fall 2025 onward, literally made a clip a couple months ago on how to prepare early summer onward. Holy shit. Okay. But now we're late summer into the fall and things have changed rapidly. And I'm going to give you a very solid updated slash refined points as far as how to maximize the chance of a pass on your CBSC comp and a pass on your USMLE step one. I will make other clips for steps two and three, don't worry. So there's four main things that you're going to have to do in order to get through the exam, in order to maximize the speed of your preparation, getting you over that pass mark as fast as possible. Okay. Four main things. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose a cubic and elephant in the room is we just put out a clip yesterday that uh, we've created steps one, two CK and three actual cubics, which I'm linking below in the descriptions. Now though, there's those of you who saw the clip yesterday and you know about the cubics. There's those of you who are hearing about it for the first time right now. You're like, what the hell? Seriously? Fine. Okay. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose a cubic. And if you already have a, a different cubic, don't freak out. But uh, yes, our cubic is going to get you through much faster. And it's much more NBME tailored, much more Melman content tailored. None of the superfluous garbage that you have out there right now. Okay. So it's about the most updated and uh, efficient USMLE prep. So I said, there's four things. The first thing you do is, is choose a QBank and never would have guessed it. We would recommend our QBanks. Okay. Check them out and do the demos. And, uh, you can go buy it that way. So that's the first thing, cubic. And I'll make clips as far as how to prepare. And I've done this before. Okay, blocks of 10, untimed tutor random mode, 40 to 80 per day. Okay. Second thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the Melman free PDFs slash Anki. Now, the Anki are not free. The PDFs are. The PDFs are an 11 out of 10. They're a platinum fucking resource. Okay. And if you do, let's say, Cardio PDF, Palm PDF, Renal, doesn't matter. Both try to knock out 10, 15 pages a day. Some of you are faster than others, but knock out those PDFs throughout your prep. Don't save them for late. The worst thing you can do is save the Melman PDFs for late. It's the worst thing you can do. So I want you to in QBank and untimed tutor random, but I want you going through the PDFs, pretty much subject specific. It doesn't matter uh, exactly the nuances. It's more about just getting through the content. That's what you have to do. Just get through it. All right. And then the Anki is going to accelerate things. The Anki is about speed. Okay. So this, the spaced repetition that'll expedite probably about a third of the time, about, uh, it'll take you 33% of the time. Okay. So if it takes you, let's say a month to get through a collection of the PDFs, maybe you can get through and a week and a half or so the young if you get to go through the Yankee. It's about uh, speed. All right. Same thing with the Melman Q Bank. It's about passing with speed. So your first two things so far. Number one, you're gonna choose a Q Bank. We recommend Melman Q Banks because they're our fucking content and they're actually the best, all right? And number two, you're gonna do the Melman free PDFs slash the Yankee. Number three, you're gonna do the Melman free YouTube QBank in your downtime. Now, there are anecdotes of people who they do nothing but our YouTube QBank and they get good scores. There are anecdotes, okay? And I'm flattered if you're going to sit and do 12 hours a day of the YouTube, which they will fucking increase your score. Some people learn differently just through video. They can't read, okay? So... I recommend as a broad umbrella type of strategy for most of you watching this is you should be doing questions every day from QBank. You should be making inroads in the Melman free PDFs slash our Anki. And you can watch our YouTube MCQs downtime at the gym. We, we cross post to Spotify. Okay, they're in podcast form as well. But you can have the YouTube clips even going in your pocket like a podcast while you're at the gym. While you're cooking, cleaning, while you're brushing your teeth, flossing, you just have the phone on the uh, the counter next to you and you listen to a clip. 
Okay, so you can knock out the YouTube playlists as well. It doesn't matter whether you want to go numerically, whether you want to go subject specific, it doesn't matter. Just get through the content. Okay, if you're studying for, let's say, you got a cardio quiz in school in two and a half weeks, fine, do the cardio playlist on YouTube, do the cardio PDF. You can even knock out cardio subject specific questions in Melman QBank. But when we, once again, when we talk about broad umbrella type of strategies without going too custom, then I, I in general, I recommend random mode for QBank. And you can just go through the, the daily questions random on our YouTube that we put out and uh, just make the inroads, okay? And then the fourth thing you're going to do is the NBME exams. And this is more nuanced. Generally, the final three weeks to a month prior to your step one is when you need to go through NBMEs 20 through 31 and free 120. So I recommend 20 to 24 offline, then free 120, then 25 through 31. Some people get very emotional about the notion of doing free 120 last. It doesn't fucking matter. The questions are all the same. People like to generate these grandmother myths as far as like the fact that they think free 120 is more accurate or something. It's not. Okay. For, uh, NBME 20 is just as accurate as NBME 31. Okay. If we were to blindly give you NBME 5 from like 15 years ago, uh, you wouldn't even notice the difference. Okay. So, and the questions they repeat. There's questions from offline NBMEs on the, on the new NBMEs. And then the questions repeat from the new NBMEs on the real deal. Questions repeat. Okay. But we generally want you to do 20 through 24, free 120, and 25, 31 in the final three weeks to a month. And it's going to differ for every student as far as like if you're weak, it's going to take you two days to go through an NBME and review the whole thing. If you're stronger, you could do the whole exam and review it easily in the same day. Okay. But we don't want you saving the PDFs, uh, the mailing PDFs for late. We don't want you generally doing NBMEs throughout your prep to gauge where you're at. There's a time and place for maybe occasionally doing 20 or 21 offline or earlier to gauge. But what I don't want is you doing like seven NBMEs every, like one NBME every three or four weeks, like while you're prepping. No, terrible idea. Okay. NBMEs come late. It's sequential. You're doing QBank first with the Melman free PDFs and Anki with the YouTube, those three things superimposed simultaneous. And then you're going to conclude that the terminal aspect of your prep is going to be the NBMEs. Okay. And that's how you're going to max your scores on the step one, max chance of a pass. Okay. Internal score. Let's say you get a 78, which would be very high for a lot of you doing your comp CBSC. When you're prepping for comp CBSC, it's basically the same thing as step one. The nuanced difference is I generally don't want you wasting all the NBMEs prior to your CBSC comp. Maybe we'll have you do 20 through 24 offline. Maybe we could save free 120 and then do like 25, 26 online sometimes for your CBSC comp. You pass comp with whatever your school is requiring. Then we can chuck free 120, 27 through 31 after. It doesn't fucking matter, okay? Um, it's custom for every student. But in, in conclusion, four things you're going to do once again. You're going to do QBank, Melman. Uh, QBanks for steps one, two, K three, they're linked below. That's number one. Number two, you're going to do the Melman free PDS slash Anki, also linked below. Number three, you're going to do the Melman YouTube clips, do the daily clips, go through the playlist. Very fucking excellent QBank, okay, here on the YouTube. And number four, you're going to do all the NBME content. You know the deal, I'm just going to make more content on my test channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.